Okay. Hey guys, um, today what I'm going to be walking you through is how to set up uh, the Vive Tracker in Unreal Engine 4.27 um, and now I'm going to show you also how to connect that with your end display because that's what I believe a lot of you guys want to do. So to start off, let's launch a new project um, of 4.27 um, and this to, to do this, uh, we have to harness the XR plugin, and what that allows us to do is bring all of the Steam VR, um, so all the Steam VR uh, elements uh, into the engine. So that's your HMDs and your controllers and any amount of trackers you have connected. So to start, let's launch a film and television one in camera VFX because that's what I normally use. And then we're going to do five. Wrap it. Get the project. Um, and let this load. Yeah, so we're going through this today because I saw a lot of you guys were asking for a Vive sort of walkthrough. So I'm going to do a quick one showing how mostly to get the tracking in. And then if we have time, I'll show how to connect it with your end display as well. So first things first, we want to come up into edit and then go to plugins. Oh, sorry, misclicked. Come into plugins and then from here, then we can search XR and you want to enable the live link XR plugin. It'll ask you if you're sure, you say yes, and then restart the engine to enable the plugin. And this tutorial is kind of assuming you've already gone through the um, via Steam VR setup. Um, as you can see, I've got my two base stations and a tracker connected. I'm not currently using my headset or controllers. Um, there's also a way that you can bring in a tracker without the need for a headset or anything. That will be in the article which goes along with this video. So if you check the description, it will show you how to do that there. So we've just restarted the engine. Go close this for a second. Um, and then in the Live Link tab, we should now be able to go to Source, um, Live Link XR Source. And you can see here that there's, um, so you've got your trackers. And like I said before, you can bring in your controllers and your uh, headsets. For now, I'm just going to bring in my tracker because that's all I've got connected. Um, and then you've also got the refresh rate of the Steam VR. So what I would normally suggest if you're trying to get everything synced is you would put this a number uh, related to the frame rate you're shooting at. So if you're shooting at 24, I'd probably put it as 48 or, pos or yeah, 52, something like that. Um, so yeah, for now, I'm just going to leave it as 60. And you can see here we've got our uh, tracker ID which has come in and the green shows that we're receiving tracking data okay. So then to just explain through this uh, live link tab a little bit, you've got pre-processes um, here. So I believe that the correct way to mount the tracker is with the green light at the top and the pongs facing forwards. But I know a lot of people do tend to mount it um, just like this because of the um, where the where the mount is and things like that, so people tend to mount it like this. Um, if you do have to mount it like this, it's not a problem because what we can do is we can go into preprocessors, we can add a rail element, and then we can do a uh, transform uh, axis switch. This will then take it from being like this to technically being like this. Okay, so that's a nifty little trick to save you some time. Usually, you'd have to do that through blueprints, so that's good. Um, so yeah, that's the only real important one I believe you can do. So you can set your evolution to, uh, mode to either be the uh, engine's time. And if you have a deck link um, within your server, you can also take um, you can also take video times and sync it to a load of different places, which is cool. So well, the first thing we're going to do is we want to pull out a camera. Uh, pull this one out for now. And then I'm also going to bring out a, an empty actor to attach that camera to. 
So I'm just going to pull this and parent it to that. That's why I can move it around the scene once I've connected my live link. So that's what we're going to do now. We'll connect our live link. We're going to live link controller and enable that. And then we will select the Steam um, tracker from our live link section down here. And then as we can see straight away, as I pick up the device, we can see we've got tracking straight into engine. Now I haven't got this rigged to anything, so it's going to be very jittery as my hands aren't that stable. Um, but yeah, you can see straight away, we've got tracking coming in. Um, and now to, I'm quickly just going to run through how to, you would add this to the end display. So this is going to be very brief, um, but basically, so I'm just going to use this example one for now to save us some time and we'll come into here. You want to select your in-camera VFX camera and then you want to select the camera with the tracking, which is this one at the moment. So as I, as you can see now on the LED wall, I now have the phosphor moving about. Now this isn't really totally correct because what we should do is set our origins to be correct. So this, and uh, so you'd set your origins to be correct. And from that, then it would be the right size phosphor and everything. But I currently don't have a stage or a real camera. So, it, so at the minute, I'm just going to leave it for this. Um, and another issue I find with the Vive Tracker is figuring out its zero point. It's not super easy to do a lot of them sort of key tracking things with. Um, I believe its zero point is where you place the headset during the room setup, but I'm not 100% sure. My knowledge of the Vive is um, quite limited. Um, but this is how you get its tracking into into the engine and really simple to hook it up to the end display. So I hope this short video was useful to some of you guys. Um, let me know what you want to see next. I'm hoping to do some Vicon and some Moses videos in the coming weeks. So yeah, let me know if this was useful. Thank you guys.